Today on Dijon TV, we learn how Winnipeg's orphaned apples are turned into cider by Jesse Oberman of Next Friend Cider. After collecting apples, he'll show us his setup at Barnhammer Brewing with a friend and chef Ari. And fingers crossed, we'll get to try the literal fruits of his labor. Hello. Hi, Carol. It's Jesse Oberman from Next Friend Cider calling. Oh, hi, Jesse. I was wondering about uh, when you might be coming by. I think we're going to come around 11.45 or a bit before. Does that work? OK, sure. That's fine. Yeah, perfect. OK, great. Thanks for calling. OK, see you perfect then. Perfect day. OK, yeah. bye, bye bye. Bye. I've been working in the wine industry for a number of years. I import uh, natural wines and organic wines. I just saw all these apples going to waste and thought to do something with them. So I ended up making a little bit of cider, initially just uh, like in my basement and garage. And a friend of mine who owns a brewery called Low Life Barrel House, Adam Carson, he heard what I was up to. We started chatting and he invited me to make my cider at the brewery that he operates out of, which is Barnhammer Brewing. The name of the company is Next Friend Cider. I decided to take inspiration from a guy named Christopher Stone, who was a legal scholar in the 1970s in the States. And he decided that trees and forests, what he called natural capital, should have a right to defend itself in court, should any sort of like environmental degradation happen. And so in order to defend themselves in court, they need people to represent them. And those people he called Next Friends, Friends of the Court. So I named my company Next Friend because I thought it would be nice to give these trees a voice that they would otherwise not have in the same way that Stone wanted to. You see that? Those are apples. Should we get out? So I'm just looking at the seeds. Brown is good. This is a pretty nice apple because the flesh is red, so they produce really, really dark red juice. They taste super sour, like you can't really eat these on their own. But I think they're delicious. Now we're gonna go see Carol. She's got that cur apple tree I was telling you about earlier. And that's the variety that I am the most enamored with that I really, uh, that I really love. So I'm very excited. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. There's a couple extra people with me today. That's fine, that's fine. So this is the Kerr apple tree. These are what the apples look like. They're quite a bit bigger than the last ones we saw. They're very dark from far away. You can see the apples look like almost purple. They're white fleshed. They're really tasty and like a really satisfying crunch to them as well. So they're great to eat out of hand and they're great for juice. Should I get some gear and we'll pick a bit? Okay. Shall I begin? <laughs> you okay? Should have told you to watch your head. I have two piles, now I'll sort through them. I'll get rid of the apples that I can't use, um, sort out all the leaves and sticks, and then we'll take them back to the brewery 
And before I process them, I'll wash them really well and then begin crushing and pressing. I'll be honest, it's unusual for me to pick totally alone. Like I usually have friends or family helping me. There's often people picking with me that just volunteer that I don't know super well. And you know, in addition to just like going to strangers' houses, it's really a pretty cool way to meet different people. My partner Janine is often with me. She does everything, like picking or processing. She is my first choice to, as a taster to help me determine what direction things are going in or what direction to take things in. She's very helpful. Sheen, are you a proud owner of Next Friend Cider? <laughs> uh, I'm not, but I'll help you with whatever you want to do. Oh, that's so nice. So it's very nice to have her for that. Ari is one of my oldest friends. He's from Argentina, but he grew up in Winnipeg. And he now has a restaurant in Montreal. He's in town visiting, I haven't seen him in a long time. And it'll be great to show him, you know, what I've been up to. Hey, Ari. Hey, dude, how you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, great, good to see you, man. Good to see you. So, what's the plan today? We're gonna taste some cider. Amazing, can't wait. Jesse and I met working in kitchens 10 years ago, basically. Yeah. Almost to the date. I think we always just had common grounds in wine and food. I wanted to be a chef for a long time, and then I watched how hard Ari was working and decided I didn't want to be a chef anymore. <laughs> That's a good deterrent. Yeah. yeah. This is just crab apples, and there's still a little bit of sugar. Okay. So it's so extremely not like, sour. This is not the, the finished product. Not even close, no. So it's like very sour, but very floral. And it's like floral and tropical. And yes, yeah. My brother and I opened Restaurant Beba in July of 2019. Basically, we were so busy, we took over an existing restaurant and then we turned it from that restaurant to our restaurant in a month and a half. So it was like a crazy, crazy, crazy transition and we needed some help with the wine list because you know it wasn't necessarily our strong point. So we got the big guns to come help us out. It was a lot of fun, except for, you know, Jesse having to like, sand a bunch of chairs in the front. That was, a, that was a lot of work that we put him through it, but. I'll do it again yeah, in a second. Yeah, we opened on time and the rest is history. Um, so I have two barrels here. These barrels are both every single variety that I work with. This is my first foray into barrel aging cider. Banana on the nose a little bit, huh? Yeah. This is a finished cider that I milled crab apples onto. So that's the crab apple skins. I can't say that I've ever had quote unquote skin contact cider before. Um, neither have I. <laughs> it's a very different experience. It's quite that's sweet. Cool. Yeah. It tastes like juice still. Yeah, it still does. Beautiful. You know, it, it reminds me, my parents have a crab apple tree in the backyard. And whatever they don't use or whatever goes to waste, mm -hmm. you know, like starts like kind of like getting sour and fermenty and like rotting. And that's what I'm getting in a good way, you know, <laughs> like not in a bad way at all. It just brings me back to that moment. Yeah. Of just like, you know, taking a golf club and batting them away. <laughs> <laughs> Do something. <laughs> Ari, thank you so much for coming to taste with me. It's a pleasure, man. For this awkward photo shoot. <laughs> uh, I had a really fun time with the Dijon crew as well. Yeah. So thank you very much for the opportunity to showcase my ciders. Amazing. Cheers.